Radio Center of Dos for Dos Radio Action. Good afternoon, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Hello, Philippines. Hello, world. Today is May 18, 2023. I am a news anchor, Mary Therese. And I am Matea Maxi, giving you the hottest and latest news. And now, for the headlines. For international news, U.S. has imposed entry restrictions on more Nigerians for undermining the democratic process during the African Nations 2023. For international news, U.S. military has said a U.S. F-16 fighter jet crashed during training on Saturday near a major U.S. military base in South Korea. For sports news, Gila Filipinas who claimed the throne it once sat on for a day. And, and for our local news, Former Bebels and Negros Occidental yesterday availed of financial assistance from the national and provincial government. For international news, here is Eliana for the news. Yan? Lincoln said these individuals have been involved in intimidation of voters through threats and physical violence, the manipulation of votes, results, and other activities that undermines Nigeria's democratic process. The Nigeria's election tribunal this month was to begin hearing opposition petitions challenging pres president elect. Bola Tinubu's victory in the disputed February presidential vote. The action is the latest in a series of visa restrictions imposed in Nigerian individuals in recent years. This is Aliana reporting. Dos for dos, radio action. Thanks, Jan. For our international news, we have Martello for the details. Mark, the jet which, which was assigned to the 8th fighter wing crashing an agricultural area near Austin Air Base at about 9.45 a.m. local time, the U.S. Air Force in South Korea said in a statement, the pilot safely ejected and was transferred to the nearest medical facility. The military said no civilians were hurt in the incident, according to the military. The local fire department was dispatched to extinguish fire. South Korea's governor of Yongi province, Kim dong yeol wrote on Twitter. This is Martella reporting. Those for those, ready to action. Thanks, Mark. Time check is 1 p.m. Time check is brought to you by Bam Bam Bangarahan IC. DWRH Radio Action will be back after the short break. Don't touch that dial. Fake news! Fake news everywhere! Consequences of fake news! Distrust in media! It is damaging misinformation, undermining the democratic process. Be a responsible journalist! Fact check! Look for the sources! Evaluate, evaluate! Change now, start now! Join Cafe Edu! Cafe Edu! Campaign against fake information! Educate the children of today for a better society tomorrow! You're still listening to DWRH Radio Action, the leading radio station in the Philippines. For our show, show sports news, here's Eliana for the news. Take it away, Jan. Kilos Filipinas smoothened the gaps in its game in the first half and then kept it together the rest of the way to dispatch host Cambodia, 80-69. On Tuesday, in the gold medal game of the 32nd Southeast Asian Games Men's Basketball Tournament, Filipinos took an entirely different lot from how they were at the top and Steven Morotok Teco National Stadium five days ago, playing cohesively and, and much more confidently before the partisan crowd. Gila's Filipinas built a 73 point lead behind Brownie, Newsom, Jerem Matimosa, and Christian Stan Hardinger heading into the halftime break and then withstood a number of fight backs from the lone Cambiol, Cambodia side to the close the game. This is Aldana reporting. Dos por dos, radio action. Thanks, Jan. And now for our most awaited local news, here is Martella for the details. Mark, Brigade General Orlando Enrolin, 303rd Infantry Brigade Commander yesterday said that each of, of the 57 former rebels who were either NPA regular members and unit militia Members got 5,000 pesos each and food packages. Last May 12, 16, 16 farmers rebelled in Himamaydan City received financial assistance of 10,000 pesos each from the city government under the leadership of Mayor Raymond Thompson, as facilitated by the Army's 203rd Infantry Brigade. Governor Eugenio Jose Lapson lauded the decision of, of farmers' levels to abandon the for, arm, 
abandoned the armed struggle as he also assured them of support of the provincial government. This is Martella reporting. Those for those, ready to action. Thanks, Mark. This has been very interesting, Nosa. And Mateo Maxi Patron. Bringing you the hottest and latest news. Those for those, ready to action. The voice of the youth. DWRH, ready to action. 747 kilohertz on your radio dial. The leading radio station in the Philippines. Bye-bye. <laughs>